Hey, and I could really get accustomed to this kind of winter weather. Oh, man. You know what? The unfortunate <laughs> thing is it's not going to be lasting. So many people that I know that are sick right now are so jealous of the people that are being able to go outside because it's just yeah. it's so nice outside right now. If you haven't gotten a chance to go out, please do. The current temperature in New Haven is 43 degrees and there's not a lot of wind, only five miles an hour out of the west southwest. Kind of a warmer wind direction, which makes a wind chill value of 40 degrees. And around the state temperature wise, great, almost mild. In fact, Stanford 42, Westport, the current temp is 42 degrees. 41s for New Haven and Guilford over New London, 40 degrees. In Voluntown, the current temperature is 41 degrees. Central Connecticut, not doing too bad for this time of the day. Naugatuck 40 for you, Bloomfield 42. Franklin, stuck in the 30s, 39 degrees, but you will warm up to at least 40 degrees. Bridgewater, the current temperature is 40 degrees. And even in some of those northern places that usually you're seeing much colder numbers, we're not really seeing that. Burlington, 40 degrees right now. Warren, currently 39. In Willington, the temperature is 37 degrees. So it is mild today. And it'll stay mild for the rest of the day today. I think we'll bump up a couple more degrees along the shore and inland as well. Not a lot of wind for the day today either out of the north about five miles an hour. Some uh, passing clouds overnight tonight. Otherwise the weather really calm, although we will be below freezing across the whole state. Lows expected to be in the 20s. Then things change. We start off the day tomorrow with a little bit of sunshine, but we're not going to be finishing with sunshine at all. Overnight Tuesday night. Uh, it kind of starts off as rain for most of us, but some of the hill towns at this point, based on the latest forecast model trends, are showing that could be seeing a little bit of snow changing over to some freezing rain. We're going to time that out with microcast in just a couple of seconds. But then as the day moves on for Wednesday, we're looking at a potentially messy PM commute, especially for some of the hill towns. But as the day moves on, though, temperatures will move up. 43 degrees is the expected high temp around the state, but very gusty winds potentially gusting up to 60 miles an hour during the day on Wednesday. Some localized flooding and poor drainage flooding possible as well. So this is microcast. We're starting it tomorrow at 9 o'clock at night. Note the blue and the pink at midnight. Some snow falling, especially for some of those higher elevations, but the shoreline is just seeing rain. Nothing to worry about there, but as the morning progresses, Checked out by 7 o'clock. Pretty much everybody seeing just rain across the state and pretty heavy rain as well. You can see that with some of those darker colors over here. Uh, so it'll be a rain event for the day on Wednesday at least. Definitely something we're going to keep a close eye on. And here's the eight day forecast. We're talking about some pretty mild temperatures. Could see a little bit of uh, rain linger into the day on Thursday and that could end up finishing as a mix along the shoreline. Inland it might end up as a little bit of snow Thursday night into Friday. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. Then after that though, Keith, it seems as though we uh, were talking about relatively mild temperatures and a decent amount of sunshine too. It so looks like things are starting to moderate a little bit. Right? That's right. And all the latest, of course, on weatheredge.com.